Hi, and welcome back to my channel again, A Search for Passive Income. In today's video, I'm gonna do a quick review of a free plugin that helps you create pros and con boxes, just like the ones you see here on one of my articles. I've had a comment from a viewer who said, where do I get them from? How do I make them? Well, it's actually very, very simple. So stay with me, we'll head over to the computer and I'll show you how you can create these pros and con boxes for free. So here we are over at one of my niche websites, fishkeepingforever.com. And as you can see, this is the plugin we're going to use today. It's the i2 pros and cons plugin. Again, it's a free plugin. And if we go to the details, you can see here that uh, the plugin was updated just four months ago and it's had 25 reviews and it's still holding a five star rating. So as you can see, pretty good. And if we go over to the screenshot, you can see here that these are the different types of formats and pros and cons that you could put on your site. And again, all for free. There's no premium version of this. Uh, it's a free plugin, so um, all is good. So let's go over to the article that we're going to install it on and take a look how to do that. So here is uh, the product we're going to update and put a pros and cons box on today. This is a, a product review for a canister filter for an aquarium. I have a nice table there and a pretty decent looking um, review, but I have no pros and con box on, which is very strange for me because I always add a pro and con box to all my product reviews. So today we're going to add one. So we'll simply go to edit post. Then we're going to find a suitable place to add a pros and cons box. And I think here, why choose the Polar Aurora is a good place to have one. So you're simply going to click add block and you can see uh, it pops up here in our used uh, most used block so if we click the um, box there you can see it adds the pros and cons heading in a quite a standard uh, generic uh, color and fashion like say you can play around with that it's totally customizable uh, but for now I'm just going to leave it as is and to add our pros we simply go over to this section here on the sidebar we just simply click the button to enter the pros. And as you can see, we get a box that pops up and we're just gonna enter our pros into this section. Now, I already have mine uh, copied into my clipboard. So I'm simply gonna paste that in. And there's no need to save anything. Just click the close box. As you can see, it's uh, entered all the pros and just give it a nice little thumbs up. We can now enter the cons. So as you can see, we simply click the enter cons button again and repeat the process. Again, I've got it copied into my clipboard to save time, so I'll just paste that into there. And there we go, there's all the cons. Again, no need to save. And as you can see, we've got a lovely pros and cons box. Very simple indeed. Um, you can add a title to it here. You can add different headings. You can change the words. So if you don't like the word pro, you can put good, and it will change it to good, and the cons, you could simply put bad. There you go, simple, so easy to customize. I'm just gonna leave it as pros and cons for the moment. One of the best features about this free plugin is this button here, currently inactive. So if we just click it, you'll see that a little buyer intent button pops up. Now this is usually a feature that only is available on premium uh, pros and con box plugins. So uh, it's super that this is on this one. It's uh, an absolute bonus. Uh, and like I say, it's a free plugin. So uh, it's a really good feature to have. And again, this is totally customizable. You can buy now on Amazon. You could write, check out the latest prices. There you go, it's instantly changed. You can even change the icon from a shopping cart to anything. And then all you do is simply enter your um, affiliate link into the bot button there, which you get from your Amazon account. And that is it. You would simply then just update your post and we have a lovely pros and con bot. So if I update the post now, go to preview. If we take a look at the article now, you can see we should have a lovely little pros and con box. 
And there we go. Good, I mean, it's absolutely fine. It's a simple bot, nothing too flashy about it. Like I say, it is totally customizable uh, and you get the bonus of having this little checkout bot. You can change the style of this box, the color, the wording. Uh, it's pretty flexible, to be honest. And as you can see, if we head over to the um, plugin section, this is the kind of style and um, customizability you have with it. I really do like that one, actually. Um, you can have the thumbs up, the crosses, the negative. Actually, I use this one quite a lot. But instead of having the lines there, I still have the green ticks and I have the red crosses in these boxes here. So as you can see, yeah, lovely little plugin, and I hope you found that helpful. So there you go, it's as simple as that. The i2 pros and con plugin, which allows you to create some lovely pros and con boxes for your website and particularly helpful for product reviews. So uh, this video was brought on the back of a subscriber who commented below, who asked me where do I get them from, and I've responded. So I hope you found it helpful. Leave a comment if there's anything else you'd like me to uh, show you. Check out my websites, and if there's anything you spot on there that you'd like me to show you in more detail, I'm quite happy to do so. Like I say, I'm bringing you along on my affiliate journey on my way to hopefully a full-time passive income. We're getting there. Every day is a step forward towards being able to quit my job and do this full time. So if you're liking what you're seeing and you're new to the channel, please subscribe, uh, hit that bell notification and I'll uh, you'll be informed every time I upload a new video, which is weekly at the moment. I'm really enjoying doing them. So thank you for joining me on my channel again, a search for passive income.